Welcome back to another video. It is half off day at Four Corners Thrift. Let's see what we can find to flip for a profit. Okay, these men's Sorrells made it to half off, so they're only gonna be $7.50. Along with the Uggs, they're only gonna be four. All right, looks like season one through five of Elias made it here to half off day. For 10, it wouldn't be worth it, but for five it is. It sells for about 35 plus shipping. Andy Griffith, Griffith Show, seasons two, four, and five. Are the other ones here? So I just bought this exact, like the complete series of the Andy Griffith Show for my grandma. And it was like 60 bucks. Uh, this is her favorite show, so I'm hoping to find the other three. Hey, down here though, I missed these first go around. Uh, darn, peeling on the sides. These like the style of Aria boots always sells really well, like 45 to 50. But yeah, those are too worn. Another pair of $7.50 Sorrells though. Little wear, but nothing crazy. I can turn them down for $7.50. Right, I don't usually look at mugs, but that's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. For two bucks. Groot. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna get that. That's just too cool. All right, I forgot about these Brooks too. Now they made it to half off, I'll get them for five. I just didn't want to pay 10 and have to clean them up. Okay, not a crazy start to the day, but I mean some good stuff, some good bread and butter stuff. The DVD series will sell quickly. Got a couple good pairs of Sorrells and an awesome mug. All right, not a bad first stop. Nothing too crazy. Uh, $32 spent on everything. Got some pretty decent stuff. Said all bread and butter, really. The DVD season should sell quickly. And with that, we're gonna head to Goodwill. Now we are back at it at the Goodwill in Belgrade. Hopefully we can find some profitable stuff to flip. Right, heading straight to the shoes per usual and there's these Merrells, but they're 10 and just really dirty. I've showed you guys this style of Ariat before. This style always sells really well for me. These little slip-ons usually go for about 35 to 40 and they're only eight. Brand new Carhartt heavy duty button down for $6. Yes, please. It's flame resistant too. That is a score. There's also this Orvis flannel for six. These usually go for about 25 pretty quickly. Dang, I wasn't even planning on looking at clothes yet. It just caught my eye and now I'm looking at clothing. Okay, over here in the hard goods, just saw the Sensi. This is a good model of it. I've actually sold it before, it sold for like 35. So for four bucks, I'm gonna pick it up. No light bulb, but I do have an extra one at home. If you didn't know, which you probably did, Sensi's a great brand of wax warmer. I always say to open up your cases. Let's see what this mystery item is gonna be. A sewing machine, Singer. How much is it? 20 bucks? Mm. I don't think it's gonna be worth 20, but I'll look up the model. All right, yeah, that model just doesn't seem to sell too well. Some of these dynamos can be good. This one doesn't have the cord though, but it does take batteries. I'll look it up in a bit. Time to play everyone's favorite game. Can you find a, a can we find a Toomey suitcase? Probably not. But since I found three Toomey items at this store, I always look. Yeah, not seeing one today, unfortunately. But that's okay dog all right so most kid shoes aren't gonna be crazy valuable right but I still look at them either way because you never know what you're gonna find these Nike Manoa hiking boots are in really good condition and this is the season to sell hiking boots because everyone's gonna be out hiking and they're in really good condition they go for about 35 bucks plus shipping and they're only six these must have just got put out 32 snowboard boots huh how much are they 13 Hmm. Let me make sure these boa cables work. 
That one does. Nope. Is this? Okay. Yep. They both work. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh no. It's completely missing a part of it. Darn. That would have been really good if they were in better condition. But these atomic ski boots for 10. Uh, maybe. Ah, uh, I know they're worth it. That's not a question. They're just a really, really small size. And they might not sell for a while. Atomic is a good brand of ski boots. Eh, I probably should get them. That's, yeah, those are probably at least $80, so I got to. Oh, uh, actually, is this missing? Yep, the strap's broken. Okay, I guess never mind. I'm kind of glad I didn't want to, but yeah, that one strap's broken. All right, again, nothing crazy. A bunch of bread and butter stuff. Uh, some quick selling stuff. Uh, I've showed you guys this before. I've said this before, but I have a lot of new viewers, a lot of new resellers. Uh, so I just want to show you this one more time, and I'll probably do it again in the future. So all Carhartt stuff has a model number, right? And it's usually by the size on the tag, if you can see it there. I don't know how well it's focused, but yeah, just those little numbers right there. If you type that into eBay, the exact item will pop up, and it'll show you the exact comp so you don't have to scroll and try to find the exact item, which is really cool with Carhartt. I really like that. But yeah, being, if you see FR on Carhartt, that means it's flame resistant. Those usually have a little bit more value as well, especially being new with tags. Now I'm gonna run to the back of the Goodwill where I have like a bag of stuff I'm gonna re-donate, just stuff that's not worth listing or I don't feel like dealing with. So I'm gonna go do that really quick. Right, it's mostly shoes. Okay, they can go up here on this pan. Okay, there's a couple parts in here as well. That'll go up here too. So just donated the stuff. It was mostly shoes and a few hard goods. Um, now, I'm not, I'm not sure if all Goodwills do this or not. Let me know. Every time you donate something, you get a 20% off coupon to use in their store. 20% off your whole order. So that'll come in handy for one of the, you know, a bigger purchase, bigger haul. I'll use that, save some money, and got rid of some stuff. Oh. But yeah, you can't beat that. All right guys, so it's the next day now. Jess and I are outside a Rethink Thrift. We're gonna run in here and hopefully find some good stuff to flip. I don't know. Ooh. This might be good. Some of these can be worth really good money. For 10, that's gonna be a buy. Yeah. I'm gonna some, some all birds down here I'm gonna try to get to. All right, I don't pick up all, all birds anymore, but for five bucks, these are a good model. Ooh. Guys, this is a huge score for $6. Some New Balance 990s in pretty good condition. These are probably $100 shoes if I had to guess. Heck yeah. So far, off to a good start. Head over to the shoes. What are these? Oh, Sorrells. Okay. And sh shoes are going to be half off, so four fifty. Yeah. Hi, Hank. Hank. Excuse me, sir. You gotta say hi. You're supposed to be the greeting kitty. Yeah. Hi, buddy. All right. So unfortunately, these New Balances aren't worth as much as I thought they were going to be. I mean, they're still worth the five bucks for sure. I thought they were a men's size. They're a women's ten point five, which. Honestly, I could sell these as a men's, but it looks like I can get around 50 bucks for these, which it still isn't bad. And I don't, as I was talking about those, I don't know how I missed these at the first go around. These are in mint condition. Wow. Maybe worn a couple times. This is a really good model of Hoka, and they're only going to be a few bucks. Yeah, that's a score. Those are probably $60 shoes. All right, so I'm not finding a whole lot more besides what I've got here. Just found a few clothing items we're gonna go over. Okay, so North Face galore today. Not galore, but North Face kids jacket. Okay, that's gonna be like what? Kids clothes is uh, like a dollar or 75 cents. So yeah, we'll get that. like that. Very All cheap, right. $20 jacket. 
Columbia vest, but it is gonna be five bucks instead of ten. It's five, but which is expensive for this store, but this is a really nice quality Columbia. Yeah. Uh, I haven't seen one with like, it's very thick, very high quality, so that'll probably sell for 20. And so I grabbed this brand because it's a hunting brand. It's called Kui? Yeah, K-U-I-U. -U. We oh, didn't, yeah. we couldn't, you know, we never heard of it before, but we looked so, it up and it looks like yeah. the shirts alone go for 20. So I wanted to, because it's a hunting brand, I wanted to be like, hey, this might be a new, um, brand we should look out for because yep. that's what we like to do so. hunting brands do really well so okay so this one is super cool and i think mikhail should keep it because it's too big for me but it's north face and has a rock climber and then on the full back it's a full rock climber like that i think it's a super sick sweater what do you guys think i think mikhail should keep this <laughs> it's, it's a medium so i don't think and it looks it like a big you. medium but i think i'll sell it because north clothes like Brands like North Face, when they have uh, different designs on them, like the rock climbing one isn't the usual one. Oh, and uh, they usually sell for a little bit more. Oh, oh that just fell off that. Yeah. yeah, so for $1.25, you can't pass it up. And she's pulled off of Patagonia. Nice. Just basic. Basic, but... half zip, quarter zip? Yeah. Quarter zip, yep. Uh, yeah, Capoline base layer hoodie, 20 okay. bucks. Right, over in the men's clothing, just pulled off this Columbia interchange jacket. It's going to be five, and it's got this removable liner. The interchange model usually goes for a little bit more. This is probably a $40 jacket. Does not have a hood, but that's okay. It'll still sell. Okay, so I just looked up the espresso maker, and it is branded Francis. It's the X1 model. Now, it's black. Different colors do a little bit better than the black. But man, that's a score. $235 free shipping. Uh, different colors go for a bit more. That one's 500 brand new, 175, 100 for parts, 120, 150 on bid, 275, another 100 per parts not working. So that is gonna be a score and it's only gonna be $5. Okay, just just pulled off a free people skirt. I don't know how well the skirts sell, but I mean for $1.25, I'm sure it's worth it. Can't really go wrong at these prices. Okay, this is a new brand for me, Kakadu. It's a vest, denim vest with like leather collars. It's an Australian brand, I've never heard of it before, but it's a new bolo. It's not worth a, you know, a crazy ton, but it's worth about 30 to 50. So that's, yeah, that's a buy. All right, so we just checked out with the card over there. Uh, spent, I don't remember, it was like $52. Had a $5 off card. She said we can dig through the pile again per usual. And I'm glad she did, because there's two Bose speakers right here, which I'm definitely going to get. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, wow. That looks fancy. I don't know. I'll have to look it up really quick. Over on top of this pile, we got a nice little Titleist hat. Oh, and another hat, but just dropped it. Cor oh, Corral. That's a bar up in Big Sky I used to go to all the time. Fun spot. Just, just pulled out these weird Solomon boots. I don't even know what exactly these would be used for. I don't either. But I feel like these are going to be worth whatever she charges me for them. So, <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to get them. Put them in my pile. I ended up passing on that brush that it's only worth like six bucks. I also just pulled out, out of this box some Burton Gore-Tex uh, mittens. Those are probably 25 to 30. Those, any Burton gloves with Gore-Tex is going to be worth it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she'd like it. Yeah. And so we just found some Lulu, like, parachute pants. All right, so you guys saw all the clothing we found. I haven't checked out the other stuff yet. Just loading this into the car. All the great shoes. Like I said, I spent, like, 52 on everything. I'll get all the money back just on these minty hokas. Uh, the espresso machine was a huge score. That's, you know, like I said, 100 to 150. 100 bucks even if it doesn't work. And a bunch of great shoe finds. So good first stop. All right, checked out with the second round of stuff. Only spent $18 on it all. Got the Lululemons you saw, the Burton gloves. Uh, I'll put comps on the screen for these Solomons. I've never seen Solomons like this, but they're really nice. And then the two Bose speakers, a little dirty, but I'm guessing I can get 50 bucks for the pair. Obviously I haven't looked them up yet, but $18 for all of it, you can't go wrong. Now we're gonna head to Goodwill. You guys know how I'm not the biggest fan of picking up women's clothing, but today at Goodwill, it is half off all women's clothing. And I am a fan of half off, so we're gonna go see if we can find anything women's clothing related. 
All right, so we are back at the Belgrade Goodwill. Unfortunately, I have a 20% off coupon for here, but it's in my truck and we took the Ram 4. So, I don't get any discounts today, but that's okay. All right, so right off the bat are some Hey Dudes for six. They're a little dirty, but it's a good model. So go for 25 to 30. All right, I don't pick up all DC skateboard shoots and I'm probably gonna leave these behind for 10 just cause it's the condition, they have these specs. But the skateboard, some of these DC skateboard shoes, especially with the fat tongue, that means like this is thicker, uh, can go for like, you know, 40 bucks. It's a nice Sims fishing shirt. Uh, it does have this uh, drop and hangers embroidery on it. How much is it? Six bucks, eh. I'll leave it for six, it's only like $20. All right, I'm not gonna get this, but that is really cool. 60 bucks, yeah. Okay, so these might be a huge, huge score for $7.99. So Skechers Y2K, like the jammers and shoes do good on their own, but these are boots, platform Y2K boots. I didn't find this exact model, but there was one similar to it that sold for $200. I don't know how much this one's gonna go for, but for eight bucks, I guarantee this is at least a $70 pair of boots, maybe more, hopefully more. Some women's Merrill barefoot shoes for six. These always sell great and it's the time of year. Those are probably 30 bucks. Another nice pair of Skechers jammers. These are the slip-on model. These are 10. But they should go for about 40 so I'm gonna get them for 10. I missed these the first go around. Two brand new iClicker 2s. They're, this one's still new, it's just open. But this one's still sealed for four a piece. That's probably, you know, 30 bucks each right there. All right, so Jess has been going through the women's clothing, which is all half off. She just pulled this out. And yeah, Swix, you guys, I've shown you this before. Swix is a really, really good brand. That's probably a 60 to $70 jacket, and it's only gonna be 350. Right, so I don't know what else she found it's though. It's only gonna go down from there because that's the best thing I found. Yeah, all right, starting off with the best. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right, I have Madewell shorts. I know sometimes you pick up Madewell. So. I'll pass on those. Just Madewell just doesn't seem to move for me personally. Prana shorts. Prana. I know you do jeans. I didn't know about shorts. I'll probably hold off on those as well. The shorts are probably only like 10 bucks okay. and for three. It's okay, he's just gonna say no to everything. REI. Okay. Again, half uh, off. That's why I grabbed them. Yeah, I'll pass on those as well. At least, hey, this is a score though. Okay, thank you for making me feel better. All right, this is a really weird one. I don't know if you guys remember, but like the part skirt, part leggings, and it's piranha. Piranha? I don't know how well the other ones sell. You never told me. I sold. A, they're only two fifty. I'll probably get these because they're only two fifty. They're probably worth about fifteen. The in most interesting thing I found. All right, and then Jim Shark. I actually okay. have these exact sweats, and I love them. Yeah, the sweatpants do well. The leggings haven't been selling too well for me, but the sweatpants do. These are two dollars and fifty cents as well. Yep. All right, nice, three good items. Okay, so not bad with the half off. Only spent twenty nine dollars even, and just one of the eye clickers will get me the money back on their own. So oh, God, overall, God, really God. good. What I'm most excited about are these Skechers boots. Man, those are those are going to sell for some good money. I'm hoping 150, but you know, you never know, I gotta do more research on them. I am at my storage unit now. Yesterday, after thrifting, I came here and I pulled a CR, one of those like old box TVs, and I filmed how to pack that, because I've been getting a lot of people asking how to pack big stuff like that. So, after I'm done pulling orders here right now, that clip will be at the end of the video, you know, so in case anyone who doesn't want to watch it can just click off and there's gonna be nothing after that but I figured you know what? it's a big heavy item might as well show how to pack it also I officially have an Amazon affiliate link uh, it's down in the description where you can buy these like my little golf club rack you can get these they're pretty cheap on Amazon so I now have a link to it if you guys want one of these for selling golf clubs they are so handy go ahead and check out the link uh, I do get a small commission Okay, so I don't remember how much I paid for these two HP toner cartridges. They are the same model, 53A, and I sold them to the same buyer for a total of $70. Uh, those ones I've had listed for a while, but toner is something you do not want to pass on because some of it is extremely valuable. I've sold it for hundreds before. This is a more basic model, 35 a piece, but I mean I get to combine shipping and yeah, not bad. 
in a very recent video, I bought four of these Oster Clippers uh, for $7.50 a piece. And this is the third one to sell for $45. One sold for $50 and the other sold for $45. And I've got one more listed for $50. So $7.50 each, not bad. They sold very quickly. I think in the either the last video or the one before that, I picked this up at a yard sale. Uh, yeah, don't pass up on used razors. You'd be some, oh, I am struggling here. Okay, so this is an Andes, A-N-D-I-S. And I paid probably a couple bucks for this. Uh, it was a bundle deal. I gotta try to close this better. But yeah, it was probably a bundle de deal. I mean, I cannot talk right now. It was a bundle deal, 30 bucks for everything. I sold a perfume I got in that bundle for $100 and it sold fast. I sold this razor for 50. Yeah, a used razor for 50, it's insane. Okay, you guys know I love parting out Ninja Blenders. They always sell so well for me. I sold just this pitcher for $35. I sold the lid for $27. And I still have the Oh, almost dropped ya. And I still got the base listed for like $40. And I probably didn't pay any more than like $6 for it. So that's really good. And in a recent video, I also picked up a bunch of this Wen by Chaz Dean Conditioner. And I this is the second one to sell. Third one to sell. Second? I don't know. One of the two. And it sold for $27 and I paid like $2.50 to three for each. Over in the shoes, I got some Vibram Five Fingers going out that I only paid, I think I paid like $8 for these. And they sold for $45 pretty quickly. Yeah. Good condition, good size. One of my favorite pairs of shoes to sell because they always sell quickly. I've also got these Nikes that I picked up oh, down in Utah, I think. I have to get these out. I think I paid $8 for these. I don't remember, but they are brand new with tags. They're a kid size, but I ended up selling them as a woman's because they were, let's see, a youth size seven. So I sold them as a women's 8.5 and I was able to get 40 for them. From the sandal bin, I sold some tatar, tatami? I don't know how you say that. They are a model of Birkenstocks. And I think I paid $10 for these. Might've been less. But uh, let's say 10 bucks and they sold for 50. Uh, they took a little bit longer than most Birkenstocks do because, yeah, Tatami, I don't know. They're in really good condition though. 10 bucks into 50, you can't go wrong. But yeah, with that, I'm trying to keep my videos on average like around 20 minutes, you know, not too long, but not too short. I know, like, I know I like watching a little bit longer videos. So I think 20 is the perfect number. And I think we're getting close to that uh, with the thrifting, with this and the TV packing. So we're gonna go ahead and hop right into that. And yeah, I'm gonna pull these orders and go home, but that's all I'm gonna show on camera. All right, here is a, oh, set it back up there. Here's a fun sale I've got going out today. This Panasonic 13 inch CRTV television. It sold for $125. And I'm sure a bunch of you guys are like, Mikhail, how the heck are you gonna ship something like that? Well, that's a good question. I don't really know. I'm just kidding. I'll go home and I'll show you guys how I ship something like this. Okay, so I get a lot of you people asking, how do I ship something like this? Well, it's a good question. It's not easy. You need yourself a nice sturdy box, obviously. You don't want something flimsy that if the weight of this moves around, it's gonna, you know, pop it off its seams here. You want something nice and thick, which is what I've got right here, nice big boy. Lots of bubble wrap, lots of stuff for protection. What I'm gonna go ahead and do first is wipe it down because it's a little dusty, it's a TV. No one wants a dusty TV screen. I just use a basic Clorox wipe, wring it out so it's not like wet, you know. Go ahead and just wipe down the whole thing, get the dust off, get it presentable. You know, it's not something that you have to do, obviously, but happy buyer, happy life. That's how that saying goes, right? Then I've got a cloth. Excuse the crap show, which is my office. It's hard to keep an office organized being a reseller, as everyone knows. And I've got this, gonna need a little bit more than that, but I'm gonna do one base wrap around the TV, kind of like get it nice and, you know, padded and go from there. Okay, now when you go ahead and have it all bubbled up into a big basketball of bubble wrap, you wanna make sure you know where the screen is. Because the screen is the most important part. That's the part you don't want to get cracked or dented or anything. If the casing gets cracked a little bit, there's a chance it'll still work. You know, give the buyer a partial refund and they're usually still happy. 
screen can't break that. So you got your box, you got it all wrapped up. I got put it that way. It is quite a perfect fit. Okay, so here. Right? The screen is right here. I've got a little bit of space on each side here. I did use the whole, whole wrap plus a little bit more, but these, do not throw these away. These come in handy for packing stuff like this. And save all your packing supplies. You get stuff from Amazon, stuff comes with this gold. I don't know where you can buy this stuff, but this stuff is gold for this kind of stuff. So I take the screen side and I put some of this in front, you know, just to add some padding so when it rattles in the box, it doesn't even touch the cardboard. It has this layer, right? You want to do, you can belt, you can fit roughly three in a row, you know, going up and down. So I put two rows of three, and then this I will put behind the TV so it can't rattle around. And this is very thick. It's hard to dent in. So it adds a good layer of protection so it can't move. And then any spare inches left in the box where the TV can move, you put this. We'll have a layer on each side. Even if it's tight, it causes the box to expand a little bit. That's good, because it means, you know, nothing to move around in there afterwards. And, honestly, that should get in there. That should be good. Looks like a, you know, a big old cluster of junk, but this is not gonna move at all. And yeah, just tape it up and you're good to go. And the last step, tape. Don't, tape's expensive, I know. Don't skimp out on it. You don't want this box busting open to you. Now it's gonna get loud, so excuse the noise. I can just tell while ro rotating it, nothing's moving around in here. Nothing's clanking, it's pretty solid. But you don't want to skip out on the tape. Not just long ways. Oh, let me go ahead and remove this piece. Yeah, don't want uh, addresses or other like labels on it. I probably should have did this before taping up, but trying to film has kind of got me. Cloudy brained. So see, I won't be able to get all this label off, but it's okay, because I'll just put the new label right over top of what's remaining. Bada boom, bada bing, as they say, I think. Okay. All right, so we got it all packed up. Let's see how much this bad boy costs to ship. Okay, so for bigger items, I just bought the label, but I realized I had the buyer's address in it and it showed in too many spots for me to edit it out. Um, but for bigger items, I use PirateShip.com. It's a free service. Usually you can save some money on larger items using their site. And it you can link your eBay directly to it so that uh, all your orders and stuff go to the website and then vice versa. And so the box was 15 by 17 by 19. 22.5 pounds you got to round it up to 23 and being 23 pounds those dimensions it is only costing me 28 dollars to ship it from montana to california and which is not bad at all if it was going to like the east coast it probably would have been like 45 to 50 but still for something this size 28 dollars there's the tracking number there it automatically sends the tracking number to ebay marks it as shipped on ebay so you have to do nothing but print the label and slap the bad boy on the box. Okay, and by the way, these Rolo printers are amazing. Highly recommend them, very accurate. One last thing I like to do, I like to put some fragile stickers on the box. Uh, you don't have to do it, but you know, I do it anyways, just, just to be safe. And that's that. You wanna catch these hands? So kill. All right, I figured while I'm showing you guys some shipping tricks, I'll show you one more thing. Uh, it's the toner. So, toner is something that is typically shipped, you know, just 
they slap a label on the box and send it off. You don't have to put it in another box. I always put it in my description. Uh, this will be shipped in its box. I'll slap a label on it and it's good to go. Never had a problem before. Now when someone orders two, instead of getting one big box, you can just tape them together. Now obviously you want to make sure it's not going to move around, do one across, you know, going up and then sideways and just kind of make sure it's good and ready to go. But this will save you a lot of money when shipping these things. You just slap a label on this and good to go. I've done it many times, never had a problem. And I, like I said, I let people know in the description that it's not going to be shipped in a box. I'm going to put a label on it. So same thing with two boxes. Put a label on it. But just figured I'd show you that in case that helps. I don't know.